Why do you feel pleasure? It must be something in your body. In fact, you have an entire group of brain structures responsible for making you feel pleasure. Your reward system. It converts experiences like food, sex, video games, music or being with friends into pleasure. It evolved to force you to attend to your physical needs, to make you curious about your environment and to perpetuate the species. In short, it motivates you to stay alive. Reward has three main components. Desire, which makes you want and seek out that delicious chocolate cake. Pleasure, which makes you feel good when you eat it. And learning, which makes you remember everything about that pleasurable experience. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter produced by your neurons, plays a central role in creating desire. It serves as a signal in your brain, which carries information about a pleasurable experience. For example, it predicts how much you will like it. Dopamine also makes it easier to choose the most pleasurable actions. And it regulates your working memory, allowing you to focus on the most important information. It is synthesized in the ventral tegmental area and the substantia nigra, which are structures in your brainstem. Then dopamine travels to other places in the brain. Let's imagine you're eating an ice cream. When the caudate nucleus and the putamen receive the dopamine through the neurostriatal pathway, they will tell you to use your spoon and eat a bit more because they control your motor skills. When the frontal cortex gets the dopamine through the mesocortical pathway, it will tell you to focus on the dessert because it controls your attention. Or when the nucleus accumbens receives it through the mesolimbic pathway, it will tell you that you're going to like eating that ice cream and that you should remember what you did to get it because it controls the perception of pleasure and the learning of motor skills. However, dopamine isn't exactly pleasure. In fact, human drug addicts who develop drug tolerance can continue to see their desire to consume the drug increase, even though they've stopped getting any pleasure from it. There is wanting but not liking. Pleasure actually comes from pleasure hotspots, which are a group of widespread brain structures. Some of them can be found deep in the brain, for example in the ventral pallium, the brain stem, or the nucleus accumbens, and others in the cortex, like the orbital frontal cortex, the insular or the medial prefrontal cortices. The pleasure caused by these hotspots can be doubled or tripled with opioids and endocannabinoids. Which brings us to the opioid system. The opioid system is strongly connected to the reward system, playing an important role in pain killing, pleasure and addiction. It is made of three kinds of receptors, mu, delta and kappa, which are distributed throughout the brain and are activated by specific drugs. You've probably heard of opium. It was discovered in ancient times and is extracted from poppy seeds, relieving pain and causing euphoria. One of its most important components is morphine, which is used in contemporary medicine as a painkiller. Heroin is chemically synthesized from morphine, but is strongly addictive and causes several health problems, so it was prohibited, just like opium. However, our body naturally produces opioids, like endorphins, which are released during exercise, relieving pain and causing mild euphoria. So, don't do drugs, kids. Go for a run instead. Subscribe if you don't want to miss my future videos, and please share this one with your friends. Also, since I'm just starting out, I'd really appreciate if you could donate to me on Patreon.